this question is to come up with a, up with a, find, a finite automaton that um, accepts strings with zeros and ones such that every substring of length four contains at least three ones. Where I start with this is figuring out what strings are accepted. What is the, what do they look like? So um, given that our alphabet is just zeros and ones, um, right, start thinking about the pattern. So for a string of length four, it has to have at least three ones. So there's one way. And I just iterate through the different ways. And those are all the legal ways of having uh, a string in this um, language of length four. Now, the question doesn't say anything necessarily about um, strings that are less than length four. And I would make the assumption that those are all accepted. So any combinations of zeros and ones, because there are no subsets or substrings of length four. Um, but I won't go into that. that. That's an assumption you would have to ask about for the question. Um, so I've identified the, the, you know, the accepted of length four. And then just you know, to contrast, which ones aren't accepted? Right, obviously all zeros, um, anything that has less than three, three ones in the length, in the span of four uh, characters, okay. And then to go through this pattern a little bit more, what are, you know, given that I started with zero, one, 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 right, how could I get strings of longer length and still meet the requirements. Well, obviously I could keep doing ones, right? That's always gonna meet it. But what if I put in another zero? What does that give me? So in this case, the first substring of length four is legal. And this second substring of length four is legal. But I could not put another zero in right away, right? Because that would give me a substring that's not legal. So what I note when I do this is this pattern that I started with has to repeat, right? For each substring of length four to um, have at least three ones. And if you go through that same logic with these other starting patterns, you'll see that as well. So that's where I start. Um, and then, you know, figure out, okay, so how do I, accept this sequence, right? Making sure I see three ones every for every one zero that I see um, consecutive. So that's where you start doing your little uh, state diagram. And um, again, I'm leaving aside the, the fact that the strings of less than length um, four are all legal. That would be another part of this um, automaton. But here is one way to approach this. Note this starts with my first pattern, which is zero followed by three ones, okay? Um, at any point, if I see a zero instead of a one after this at first zero, that would, get you into that not accepted, you know, dead state, right? At any point from here, if those were zeros, at any point, that would mean it would not be accepted because we'd have too many zeros in the span of four characters, right? It would violate the at least three ones, okay? So that would get a dead state and unaccepted, right? And the other point of my pattern, these other ways of doing it, you know, starting with ones, the way I could fix that 
is, you know, it doesn't matter how many ones we accept, ones are good, okay? So I can just have this in, loop back to the same state, all right? And that's a partial answer, all right? This is not the full specified one. Um, you would leave it, I would leave it up to you to do it in the format that your professor expects. Thank you.